Oh, we're here. <laughs> Wharfdale. Yeah, lovely part of the world, this. Absolutely. So here we are, we have arrived at Wharfdale. Never been before, but two people have told us this is their favourite or one of their favourite sites. So looking forward to this. Again, there's someone out with a clipboard. <laughs> looking forward to it, thank you. Thank you. What a lovely chap. The map. He seems so laid back, didn't he? He did, yeah. Just enjoys like he his really job enjoyed his job, yeah. Chilled out. Oh, this looks lovely. We wasn't sure if we'd been here before, but I don't think we Definitely were, not. No. Definitely not. Oh, careful, is it? <laughs> so, I really don't think there'll be many pictures left at all. No, it's. It is Saturday. It's a very popular site. Looks so nice, doesn't it? Clean. Long and thin. Well maintained. Well oh, he's got a nice pitch there, isn't he? This one here. <laughs> no. uh, I don't mind, darling. Oh, it might be... A bit dark. I'll be quite honest, I don't mind. I think they're all going to be lovely. There's one over there. See that one over there yeah, near the awning? See it. Yeah, I just need to know how to get over there. So we're on site. Yes. Wharfdale club site. What's your first impressions? Very nice, very nice. Second impression, no internet. <laughs> but yeah, hey. Yeah, no internet. We'll go into <laughs> it's that. It's important to people like us. It is. <laughs> we'll go into that in a bit when we're on as walk. Yeah. Um, here is the map. I know you can't see it very well. But this is where you drive in, that is reception. And we've gone right over here. And we're now, we're just going to take a little walk around here and then we'll take up this uh, video from the reception and show you the site. So we've just come on the dog walk uh, as we're heading towards the entrance and there's a lime kiln here, there Mazzy. Is, yeah. Here it is. So this would have had a massive chimney at one point. Uh, you put wood in the bottom of here you'd have your limestone, you'd have coal, limestone, coal, and it would burn through it, blah de blah massive chimney. But yeah, this is the dog walk. We're not going to go into detail on this, but uh, this is the way to the front entrance for us. A nice little walk in the morning. If you've got a dog, it's a pretty good one, isn't it? Compared to some of the ones we've been on. Yeah, definitely. So the walk takes you all along the side of the... Um, campsite there this is the main reception so it comes up here and then down there towards reception it's only a short walk definitely not suitable for wheelchair users no definitely and not. slight incline well uh, it depends which way you go we <laughs> came up <laughs> but yeah nice little walk okay so we're at long ashes uh, caravan site which is just next to the motorhome campsite and there is a pub here which you can go to called the game gamekeepers inn Show them the pub, Mazzy. Yeah, looks nice. Um, really nice. Which is open through COVID, although the COVID thing ends tomorrow, so yeah. when you're watching this, it won't matter. We did, uh, hold on, we did try and book a table for today, actually, yeah. didn't we? Fully booked on the Sunday. Fully booked, so. But look, they do. Oh, and they've got takeaway menus as well. Yeah, you can get a takeaway from here. Yeah. It's, uh, <clears throat> every other day it was available, just not Sunday. So if you do come on a Sunday, get it booked before you come. That's our advice. But yeah, it looks very nice. The rest of the site, I don't know if you're allowed on it really. Yes, but there is a spa really there, good. there is a cafe Where's there. Where's the spa? We'll just walk past a spa. What, a shop spa? No, a spa. Oh, I thought you meant the shop. No, a spa. <laughs> Not a spa, a spa. So yeah, that's all part of a campsite, which we're not on, so we don't really know where you meant, if we're meant to be here. So no, we got, with our leaflet though, it did stay on there that we can get, go here for food and you stuff You can definitely like that. go to the pub. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of it, but the rest of the site, I don't know. Just a little hidden gem for you. Well, it's not hidden, but it is a gem. 
Uh, just as you're coming up to the motorhome campsite, there's a beautiful lake just on the left hand side. You can get down there, honestly a beautiful place, there's a little picnic bench over here and loads of grass for you to uh, have a lovely picnic. Wonderful area, there's rabbits, there's a rabbit just there at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. We did just see a sign saying Long Ashes Park, so that uh, lake belongs to the caravan site. Doesn't but mean you can't go. I'm there, sure though. you can still yes. go. Yeah. They're not going to kick you off, surely. <laughs> Both campsites do seem to share the road. So you come up here, left to the Caravan and Motorhome Club, Wharfdale and right to the static caravan park. You don't go right up there for the static. Do you not? No, but that's how close we are to the static, so oh, you can okay. get through the gate there. The entrance is round there then. Yeah, <laughs> we just walked out of it. Right, oh careful. no! I think you might want to go through here, Mazzy. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the entrance to the motorhome site, so we'll start us tour yeah. properly now. So this is for late arrivals, you have got an electric point, Turn up late, no problem. One o'clock. One o'clock to check in. And we've noticed on the last two sites now, you've got to wait here. Yeah. Rather than go in the office, you wait here and then you go find a pitch and then you go in the office to tell yeah. them which pitch you want. Look quicker system, much better. I think that will continue all this year because... Yeah. I think they've done it to start with for Covid, but I think they're going to be doing it because campsites are just so busy this year. When yeah. it comes one o'clock, they're getting like five, ten people arriving. The other day we were on campsite and they were having 50 that day. Yes, 50. 50. On, so it was a Friday. So you trying to book all them in at once. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is the entrance. Turn them round. So, reception is over there. New arrivals will come in there. If you're going straight on site, you go in there. You need your barrier key to come out, but not to get in. That is your information room, oh, right, yeah. which is shut at the moment. Just see if there's anything on the signs there, Mazzy. So on top of here, you've got your menu for the pub, the Game Keepers Inn. It's also got, tells you about an app, a skiptonguide.com app, which isn't very far away. That might be handy for some people. It's got the bus timetable, pretty good. Yeah and a map showing you all the walks in the area and you can buy these from uh, from reception so that's quite cool i think it's two two and a half miles about 40 45 minutes walk to grassington okay it's not bad if you're able to it's not bad that? at all you know if yeah. you want to go to grassington have a look around and then come back yeah have a meal in grassington come back perfectly uh, oh. easy to do We've got like a little what they sell here look, in the shop. In the shop. They've only just started accepting credit cards as well, I was reading. Okay, Batteries, fuses, gas. Yeah. <laughs> they did have, I was looking for bread actually yesterday, and they did have, you know, the ones which you bake. Yeah. They did, they did have them, but they didn't have fresh oh, bread. Oh, okay. So that's, that's handy though, isn't it? It's very handy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, picnic bench just as you come in. Why would you want to sit there though? With cars coming, <laughs> caravans coming and going. There ain't many other places to sit really, is there? <laughs> right, let's go through. So you've got a service point just here. That's a bit awkward actually having that right on the door there. Well, it, it isn't a motorhome service oh, point. It's right. not, a, it's, you know, for, if you're any of these, for example, you could come and empty your toilet or take your rubbish down there. Again, what I want to say about this particular caravan um, club site, facilities is amazing. Yeah. I, I, I love it for that fact, mm -hmm. yeah. It actually show, tells you on here, look, this isn't for your motorhomes to empty the stuff. Yeah, they don't want the entrance blocking with people there, do they? No. Okay, so let's go on. It, it's quite a long, thin one, is this? Yeah. I'm not sure how many pitches there are, but there's no service pitches and there's only two standard non-awning ones. So the rest are just your average one, average pitch. Wow. <laughs> Aren't you clever? Yeah. Let me just add to that then. Yeah. <laughs> there's seven grass pitches. Is that? Oh! Mm. <laughs> See, we've both, both done us homework, haven't we? <laughs> this is what we were talking about yesterday. The peg in the middle, you see, you're meant to start there to there, and then your car go there, 
and your awning go there. But on the horse campsite, they've actually started putting the peg there so that your motorhome would be there and then your awning, you've got so much room for it, which was perfect yeah. for us. And considering they've still done that, that's still the system. We've got loads of room for our awning, so the pitches are still big it enough. It depends on how big the pitch is, yeah. isn't it? They're all different they all sizes. Vary, yeah. So we're not continuing, we're actually cutting across at the moment because we just wanted to quickly show you the block. This is your toilet block. I presume they have showers, but obviously closed at the moment. Yeah. Um, motorhome service point. I think that's your only service point on the site. It actually. is. It's your only place oh, to get rid of grey. Oh, okay. So women's toilets. Laundry, yeah. Service toilet. I think that's where you. Oh, went unisex to your toilet. toilets. Yeah, I think where you went to your toilet is around there. Dishwashing area, drying room. I like these drying rooms, Mazzy. I've never seen them. I've never been in one. Dishwashing room closed off at the moment. Toilet emptying and a drying room. Can't take you in them. The closed at the moment, but yeah, the perfect. You know, for hikers and things, people with wet tents. I used to use them a lot. What, what are they exactly? It's just to dry your tents out when you close on wet days. Oh, okay. But it's it's like a really hot room and it does it extra, extra quick. So I could do that instead of putting my clothes in the tump or dryer? In fact you could. Really? Would it work? Probably. <laughs> so down the bottom, hend here. Hend? Did I say hend? You said hend. Bottom end. <laughs> so you've got one there, one there. You can drive up either of them one way and then one over there. So it's like three layers. These are your only grass pitches. I tell a lie, I believe there's six here, or so five here, and one over there. When you have a grass pitch, sorry, uh, is it cheaper? What? No, no. No? Some people prefer grass. Oh, really? Like I would, it, with us awning, to be honest. With the awning, but if like you've got rubbish weather and the ground's wet. Yeah, there it, is that, always that. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I have been on a campsite before. Yeah. In the height of summer, on a lovely summer's day, hadn't been raining for days, and the motor arm still got stuck on the grass. Yeah. It yeah. does happen a lot, so. I got it stuck a few times. You have. Well, I yeah. haven't, obviously. <laughs> Mazda right, has. Gonna move on, it's starting to rain. <laughs> um, Wi Fi, shall we talk about Wi Fi? You talk about it, it's more your subject. <laughs> okay, zero signal on uh, three mobile. Nothing. Nothing. At all. Nothing. <laughs> but we signed up to the. Campsites one. Now it's £30 for the year. It's worth doing the year. It's because it's like f five, four quid a night, ten quid for five nights. Three pound fifty a night. It, it just works out better for the year, especially if, for if us. you're using it a lot, definitely. Yeah. It's three pound fifty a night, eleven pound for a week or thirty pound for the year. Yeah. Now even with that, you still don't get a very good signal on most campsites. But this Never, one, actually. we've actually had a very good yeah. signal here. It did go off for about 10 minutes yesterday. It's on and off ish. I think it depends on the bad, weather. Yeah. But overall, it's a really good reception. Overall, it's the best we've actually ever yeah. had using yeah. the, the caravan site's Wi Fi. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> right, so we're at the end now. Quite a few have left today. It's Sunday. Yep. Yeah. It was full yesterday. I reckon Packed. there was probably about three spots left and that yeah, was it. Yeah, we struggled to even find a spot. <laughs> so we're at the very end. We're going to cut yeah. this short because it's starting to rain. Yeah. But this is the very end. The dog yeah. walk is in that corner there and yeah. takes you all the way around there. Certainly worth doing. Bit of exercise wakes you up in the morning. A couple of uh, picnic benches here. Yeah, that's nice. And a little play area. It's quite a nice play area that, isn't it? Yeah, it's really sweet. And for all you Americans who were commenting saying, I can't believe you have tarmac. It's not tarmac, it's like rubber in his playgrounds. They use yeah, it's a like lot a now. spongy kind of safety thing. <laughs> yeah. But that's good, isn't it? And no dogs allowed in there. Obviously. <laughs> so we're just going to go back to our motorhome now, which is over there. Yeah, just to show you how big our pitch is, we are up to the peg and we've still got plenty of room, we haven't gone on the grass. So this is an extra big one because normally this is overhanging 
by about that much. So we've got an extra metre and a half on this one. Right. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah, is. hope you enjoyed the tour. Going to be belting it down. Yes. Uh, Wharfdale Motor Caravan and Motorhome Club. Get yourselves here, you'll enjoy it. Two people actually told us it's their favourite site, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Each to their own. Each to their own. We like it, but it's not as favourite, is It's not a favourite, it? no. We, it depends we love what it. you're after, it depends what you're after. Yeah, there's right. nothing wrong with the site, it's just no. <laughs> not our favourite. We've been to a lot. But yeah. it is a very, very nice, well-kept site. So please subscribe, please click like, and please leave a comment. We'll see you all later. For another review, come back tomorrow. For another review, come back to another Bolton day. Abbey. We're off to Bolton Abbey next. Yes.